want to talk a little bit about what long-term successful recovery looks like. There's two programs out there, the program for pilots and the program for physicians that have incredibly high success rates. Both these programs boast over an 80% success rate at the five-year mark. Um, people doing it on their own uh, in recovery have a, a pretty low success rate at the five-year mark, like a 20% success rate. So at Santra, we look at these two programs that are very, very successful, the pilot program and the physician program, and we look to apply those uh, same principles into uh, our programs so that we can create these, these very highly uh, successful numbers uh, two years, five years into treatment. Let's take a look a little bit about what the, the pilot program uh, does to, to have that success rate. First, the pilot program um, institutes positive rewards and negative consequences. Obviously, if you're a pilot and you return to use, there's a, a negative consequence. Um, families can emulate this in the same way. Uh, the family sets a clear definition of what su successful recovery looks like and su defines a definition of what would happen if there's a return to use, the negative consequence. Um, in both the, the pilot program and the uh, uh, physician program, they use random drug testing after inpatient treatment. We don't use random drug testing at Suntra as a punitive measure at all but we do use it as a way to capture re relapse very, very quickly. If somebody returns to use and it's left un unabated for a period of time, um, we can be right back to where we started. But if we can catch a relapse very early using drug testing or breathalyzer, we can actually intervene quickly and get that person back on track very quickly. Drug testing is a great deterrent. If somebody has a drug test hanging over their, their, their head or they have a breathalyzer and they know they've got a breathalyzer at eight in the morning, they're just much less likely to use. So the deterrent factor of drug testing is actually very important also. One of the other key tenets of the pilot program is 12-step programs. So after treatment, after uh, going to rehab, there's a continuation of a program over a period of time. I'm 13 years in recovery. I still choose to maintain my recovery by going to 12-step meetings. It's also important in the pilot program and the, the physician program, the standard is abstinence. It's not a modified, um, I'll do this drug, I'll do that drug, I'll stop drinking, but I'm gonna hold on to my Adderall or I'm gonna hold on to pot. Abstinence is the way that works in these programs. These programs also set up viable role models. At Suntra, we use our coaches all of our coaches have been through recovery themselves. I've been through recovery. John's been through recovery. So we become the role models for the, the person, the, the individual. Um, we also want to introduce that individual to other role models. Maybe through 12-step meetings, they'll get a sponsor. So it is important to have somebody that can guide you through the process that they've been through. Of course, modified lifestyles. Uh, we don't want to return the person of concern back to the way it was. If they were using at home in an apartment alone, that's an unsafe uh, uh, lifestyle to return to. So part of our intervention process is creating a modified lifestyle, changes in their lifestyle when they return home. In the relationship, the family learns how to support uh, recovery. How gives the person time to go to 12-step meetings, gives the person time to have therapy. We create the space for somebody to have successful recovery. We also use monitoring. Monitoring is a third party, like Suntra, watching over the care of the person. What doesn't work is a partner or a wife uh, being the police officer, being the monitor of the treatment. There needs to be a third party that steps in that, that offers uh, case management, care coordination that's giving the advice. As we know, partners can't give advice very well. So a third party uh, involvement and guiding is very important. I spoke a little bit about relapse management with the drug testing. With relapse, we want to catch it really quickly. What we can't do is just let relapse go unabated for a long time. So if we can use drug testing, we can use a, a coach, a role model, we can use our case managers. If we can catch relapse within a, a, few, a couple of hours or a day, 
we can have very successful recovery after that. It doesn't have to reset us back to zero. And then what's important is what we've been talking about all day, continuing care. This is not just about one, one intervention. This is not about one AA meeting. This is not about just going to rehab. This is about creating a plan that's going to last over a period of time. One of the most important parts about the pilot program and the physician program is that they have faith in the person in recovery. The family might, no long, might not have faith that a person can recover any longer. They might have lost faith in that person. But by us coming in from the outside, we assume that the person can recover from addiction. By having that faith, by assuming that this will work, we can actually help treat addiction. We're not coming in with the preconceived issues of the past. We're starting fresh, a new day, and we create a plan that we have seen work for many, many other people. And we have faith in the person of concern. We know that they can recover. We just have to show them the right way. <music>